Hey guys, Mark here, checking in again. Uh, I know it's been a long time since my last video and I, I see the comments and the, the emails wanting to know an update, so I wanted to uh, put something together for you guys real quick. Um, I know it's been a long time coming. This all started back in 2007 when I first started having back pain. Uh, the first fusion was in 2011. Um, I think I left the first fusion in for approximately two years and I was still in pain. So uh, uh, I had moved back to the Dallas area and a surgeon here, um, Dr. Parikh, decided to uh, let's take the, the hardware out since the fusion had taken place. Um, let's take it out and see if that's what was causing the pain. So I agreed to it. We took it out. It wasn't uh, too bad of a procedure. Recovery time uh, wasn't near like uh, the original fusion, um, but the pain was still there. I wasn't I wasn't having any relief. So um, I believe another eight months to a year went by and still in pain. So we decided to do a follow-up MRI and we discovered that the original fusion had cracked since we had taken the hardware out, um, which basically left me no choice but to uh, do it all over again. So I let Dr. Parikh, who is an amazing surgeon here in the Dallas area, um, he went ahead and did the, uh, the second fusion, which ended up being a two-level fusion. And uh, during it, also discovered that I had a severely uh, pinched nerve in that area. And uh, once that was freed up, I, I felt totally different. And uh, after the recovery, you know, two or three months, I knew that it was going to be a different outcome on this one, and um, that was right at two years late, uh, two years ago, I believe, um, from this March. So um, I can tell you that after a, a probably eight months to a year after this last procedure, I was back in the gym, squats, deadlifts, everything, and I can't tell you how great I feel right now. I absolutely have zero back pain, and I haven't for a long time now. I uh, I was also able to get off all pain meds. Um, which you guys know, I think I've shared in some of my other videos, is um, a whole nother task on its own. It's terrible. Um, it, it's, I'd been on them for so long, and um, I did have to go through the withdrawal process, which was awful, and I wouldn't recommend it to anyone except just do it. Get off the crap pills, man. They're garbage. Um, find another way because that, that'll mess you up pretty quick, and I was lucky to get it on top of it quick and not let it you know, affect my life too seriously, and um, I'm so thankful and feel so much better being off all pills like that. I, I never want to do that again. And in fact, I've I've battled uh, shoulder issues as well, and I'm on surgery number four, shoulder wise. And I can tell you that um, uh, I'm so serious about not putting another pill in my mouth. I did the last uh, rotator cuff and. Uh, uh, bicep tenodesis surgery on my shoulder without any pain meds. I just I just refuse to put those in my mouth anymore. So, um, but anyways, I, I wanted to report back. Um, as far as the back goes, I don't have any pain. I, I I can't believe how much better I feel, and I truly thank Dr. Parikh uh, for helping me out. He he was uh, he was phenomenal and did a great job, and um, he still checks up on me all the time and. Um, uh, there's just no issues, and I hope I hope it continues that way. So as of right now, I I do have the fusion in place. I left all the hardware; everything is still there. I'm not going to touch it unless it becomes an issue, which at this point um, I really don't see that happening. I, I really hope it doesn't happen. But um, so, anyways, I hope all is well. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to hit me up. Take care.